Okay, we're live. We are live, finally. Sorry, don't know what that's about. I don't know if Google Chrome is down. I don't know. Everything's good. <clears throat> yep, we are live. Got to wait for people to come in. Get a pretty good picture. That's not bad. <laughs> that is not bad at all. What is up, everybody? Yeah, that's not a bad picture, man. Shit, maybe I'll start using this again. All right. I wish I could do that better. Bearded Vapor, what's up? Sicko Wicko, Lino Velez, Bones the Skater, John Vapes, Kim Dixon, Chris Payne, Jerry Lawrence, Ben Dover, Mr. Pebble. What is up, Rod Rio? Lewis Miller is here. Lewis Miller, I did not forget about you. I didn't forget. I got you. What is up, everybody? I'm going to let people come in since I have so much weird shit going on, and then I'll get into it. Um, just got my Turk, got my Turk, and got my um, Dreamer. <clears throat> Thank you, Kim. So what's up, what's up, what's up? You're vaping the dude? The dude RDA actually vapes very well. We'll have to do a video on that the one day, one day. I don't want to get into different stuff in this video because this is coil class. You know, there was a little bit today I was feeling like I might not go live. Um, even up to, all the way up to about an hour ago. But I just wasn't really... For reasons, I just wasn't having the best day, and I, I wasn't sure if it would be the best day to go live. But then I figured, you know what? This is what I do. This is what I do to get away from all that. This is like, that, this is just what I do. And when I come here, I feel better. I know there's a lot of people that look forward to it, and I always have fun coming here with you guys. And I love coil class. Coil class, I, I enjoy doing the coil class. And it's just, um, you know, I just love coil building. I like being creative and doing stuff and going back in coil class and looking at how it all started. I enjoy doing it. And, you know, I just hope to pass that on. Like, just, just not even just coil building. If I could just pace on that somebody could pick up something be creative just to escape their day that's all i hope to do really most of the time so yeah so i think we all look forward to it so i said fuck that negative thinking we're gonna do this shit and i hear myself all right so Yes, it is a Zen time. Cal LR420, what's up? Redneck Vapor is here. Who the fuck smokes fruit? V Dog, what is up? Y'all shall brighten up my day. Obi Wan Kenobi, what's up? And thank you. Tokes, what is up? I was on Black Hat Way Face. What's up, Ronald? I was on Black Hat White Face today. That was fun with Johnny Drips and Builds by Talion. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I never did a show with Johnny Drips, which is weird. You would think that me and him would have been on a show before, but we've never been on a show together. What's up, Lime Dog? I thought that was, I was actually thinking about it. I was like, was I ever on a show with Johnny Drips? I don't think I was. You would think that. You would think that I would be. <clears throat> so I did promise a giveaway today. We're going to do that at the end of the show. Um, giveaway at the end. I'm planning on going, man, I don't know, man. I don't really want to run into Fresh's show.
but we might run into it a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to get this done. If I can get this done in an hour and 15 minutes, which is quite possible, maybe I'll do that um, and have a short coil class this week. Um, you know, I'm just working crazy, crazy hours. I'm like getting to work on time and that's crazy, man. I'm waking up at like five o'clock in the morning and on the road by five thirty. It's fucking crazy. Crazy, crazy. Roy Murphy, I don't know if I said what's up to you. What's up? So what's up, everybody? Anybody that's not in chat, what's going on? I do hope everybody's having a good day. Um and that's it. No buts about it. Um Yeah, I got to make that money. So here we go. Coil class. So what's coil class? A lot of people may be watching this video for the first time. This is the fourth version, the fourth lesson in coil class. So coil class basically is these live videos I do every Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. What I'm doing is my goal is to hit every single type of coil in these videos, one or two at a time. It depends how hard they are. Like today, we're going to be able to do two because they're not that they're not that time consuming. And we're starting from the beginning with the easiest stuff. We start it with the round wire, and then we just slowly are going to move up a coil at a time until we get to the very last coil which will probably be something super hard, like an enigma or a pitchfork or something of that sort. So, um, yep, that's what coil class is. So last week, what we did was um, we introduced the twisted wires last week. All right. And there was a couple ways I could have went this week. There were so many different ways I could have went, but those will just be next week. Um, I thought it would be a good time to introduce the small wires. Everything we've done so far, I've used 28 gauge or bigger, 28, 26, 24, 22 for extensions. Everything was big gauges. And then like 32 gauge came out and people started ordering 32 and saying, let's see what we could do with this. So initially, at first, they just started twisting a bunch of 32s together, of course. They just started doing, you know, like 10 pieces of 32 twisted together and vaping that. And that's cool. You can do that. You can try that out. Um, it's hard as hell to wrap, but you could try it out. Um, but the cool things that came out of the high gauge is when they started incorporating it with the bigger wires and kind of making it either the outside or putting it into the grooves of the twist, which is a helix. So first we'll do the helix. Helix is, is easy, especially when you do them a couple times. It almost, a helix almost makes itself. It really does. There's things to pay attention to. You could absolutely mess them up, but we're gonna do the helix first, and then we'll do a Clapton wire. Clapton wire is so important for, for coil building helix. It's important for some of the builds down the line, but Nick Fenton, what's up? Mr. Burgundy, what's up? Nick Fenton, are you in my are you in my build team chat? I've seen another Nick floating around. I said not up in the air. Not up in the air. In fact, while you're here, I'm gonna tell him to kick your ass out. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. I said Nick's talking. Nick never talks. Simple Vapes. What's up, Stephen AKN1? What is up? So I guess uh, Nick Fenton got into the boot camps, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah, we'll do the Helix first, which the Helix is just going to incorporate the twisted wire that we did last week and some 32 gauge. And it's actually very simple and it looks cool. And as we go, as we go down, you're going to see that this helix takes, this helix comes into play in um, more comp complicated builds. It really starts, um, 
being important. But, uh, of course, Clapton's are super important for coil building. I mean, you almost can't name a coil besides a helix that you don't Clapton at some point. So let's do the helix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the same twist at first as we did last week. Now, my goal here is to not use a swivel because I didn't have a swivel when we were doing this. And I want to show you is that you don't need a swivel. Will a swivel make this easier? Absolutely. But um, I'm going to show you that we didn't have to use a swivel for these or the Clapton's. We're still not using swivels. This is the fourth episode. No swivel. No fucking swivel. Put them away. You can use a swivel, but I figure I'll show off a little bit. Not just show off, but show you that you don't need a swivel when you start off. All right. That's some good vaping. Oh, you want to see what I'm vaping? I'll show you what I'm vaping here, too. First, we'll do this one. Mesh. I put another mesh build in there. The batteries are dead, but it's vaping good. I've had no hot spots yet. What am I vaping in the Turk? Let me show you the nice one. Vaping them naked staples, naked frame staples, yes, sir. Them naked frame staples. They're vaping good. I actually think they don't vape as good as a frame staple, but they do vape good. Hell, Billy Hick, what's up, Philip Wheeler? I don't know if I said hi to you. What is up? Are there two Ronalds in here? I don't do um, RTAs too much. I may try the Unity, but I haven't. The Unity is the is the oh the mesh, the mesh Unity. No, I probably won't try that. Actually, I I was thinking you were talking about the um the Rebirth. <clears throat> The Vapor Cat is here. Sub Zero. What is up? What is up, everybody? We've got a lot of people coming in now. Okay. Here we go. So, um, I want to get 26 gauge and twist it together at first. That is the first thing on my list. It's 26 gauge. You know what? Maybe I'll do 24 with the 32. Yeah, I'd probably go 24. Let me see if 2632 works. I actually forget if it's 26 and and 32 or if it's um Probably should have had this ready. Let me get some 26 gauge cantho out, and we're gonna see if 26 and 32 work. I hope it does. All right. Cos vapes, what's up? So, helix. First, we're gonna start with some 26 gauge. I'm gonna get my drill. And just like we did our twisted wire before, exactly how we did our twisted wire before. I'm going to cut the 26 gauge off of here. Now, when you're not using a swivel, you don't want to go too much bigger than what you need. That's something that you really want to remember. You don't want a 16 inch twisted wire to helix around. It's not going to go as well if you have as if you had a swivel. <clears throat> So I'm just twisting it to make it straight. Let it go. I got a straight piece of 26 now. And then I'm going to take both ends. I'm 
Oh, Merlin's got the unity and he likes it. He loves it. Awesome. 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 Oh, I don't have live chat on. I'm sorry. Fuck. My bad, peeps. Cool. Yeah, crop swivels are awesome. So now I'm going to put the 26 that I folded in half into the drill. And now I have a loop here. 26 gauge, just like that. And all I'm going to do, put my drill on forward. Now, just like the other coils we did. It doesn't matter which way you twist it. It does matter that you remember which way you twist it. All right? Just remember. So it doesn't matter which way you do this, but you got to remember which way you do it. Then I'm going to take a screwdriver. I'm going to put it into the loop and pull. Pull. I'm going to use my two fingers to hold it like that. Pull tight and twist. And you want to twist this almost all the way, but not quite all the way. So I'm just going to look at it and see until I like it. And I think this is where I want it right here. So now I'm actually going to spin this. It, it, you'll feel the way it wants to spin. It wants to spin this way, so I'm going to let it spin this way. It almost is spinning itself. I'm just guiding it so it doesn't fling me in the face. And boom. We have a twisted 26 gauge. Two pieces of 26 twisted together. I'm sorry. All right, now the goal with the helix is if you have two wires, there's going to be two gaps going up each of these wires. All right, the goal of the helix is to get into these grooves here going all the way up. It's to add a wire into the grooves. If you have two wires twisted, there's going to be two grooves. If you have three wires twisted, there's going to be three grooves. Four wires twisted, four grooves, and so on and so on. So we're going to need two 32 gauges to go up this. All right. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my 32 out because that's what I said I'm going to use. And before I do this, I want to make sure that it's going to fit in there by just testing it. It's going to fit in there just fine. 2632 will work as long as you don't twist the 26 all the way down. All right. So now I'm going to get the 32. And the 32 is just going to be, I'm going to cut it off the spool. I'm not going to hold it like a Clapton because I don't have no swivel. I'm going to get it, not this size, about one and a half times this size so if this is eight inches i'm going to do 12 inches all right so i'm going to get this wire and at about 12 inches i'm going to stretch it straight and cut it off my spool so now i got a 12 inch piece of wire and we're just going to start with one we'll cut the other one off after we're done this one now this is not hard at all remember which way you twisted it make sure the drills in the same way it goes the same way as the twist you can't do it the reverse way you got to do it the same way that's why i said remember all right simple vapes have a good night i hope you feel better man all right so I'm going to take the 32 and the 26s and I'm just going to anchor the 32 into the 26 like so. All right. I'm just going to anchor it in there. 
32 on the 26. Just get it on there. My goal is to get it on there so the grill, the grill, the drill will also grab it. My lighting is going to be weird, so I got to adjust. I had a different light going on right now because of what happened yesterday. Come on, fucker. There you go. Now I'm going to get these in the here. All right. Now, put your drill on slow. There's no need for it to be fast. Now, I'm going to twist this drill and get the angle of the of the twist. I want to find that angle of the twist. Go the same direction, and I want to fall into the gap. Now, it's basically, it's going to skip fuse, basically, but not really. It's just going to follow that twist. Once you get into one of them grooves, this wire just wants to follow that groove. So just pay attention. Keep the angle. Go slow. And you do want to get these tight on there. You don't want them loose because it's not real. It, it's, it's loose already. So you want to get it as tight as you can. So actually not using the swivel should actually help me with this. So I'm just finding the angle. Getting into one of the grooves. And I'll go close up in a second. And following the groove up. And it's usually a pretty big angle you got to hold it on. I like holding it close. And what's happening is my hand is supporting the rest of the wire. So my fingers are here. My hand supporting this bit to stay up. Just like if there was a swivel there. This part of my hand supporting, this part's doing the work. All right, support, work, support. All right, now it's going to be hard to show me on, show on camera because my finger's in the way, but I, I think I'm going to get this. Hold on. This is what it looks like so far. All right. Oh, that was a good idea using two different wires because you could actually see what's going on. So you see there's one gap left behind. There's my 32. And there's the gap left behind that we're going to fill in later. Or you don't have to fill in later. You could. This could be one helix. You could do that too. This 2632 is going to look really good. How cool is that? That actually looks really cool. For just a simple helix. So, remember, um, remember, or the brand still around double helix designs this is where that comes from this is a single helix and then it would be a double helix once i go in there yep simple all right so let me get my fingers here man this could be hard to show i might have to do this This is so hard to show with my fingers.
What's up, Jason? You, Adam Polarczyk. What's up? And there's an illusion that happens when this, with this, when you're doing it. It almost looks like it's not doing anything at all. Looks like it's staying still almost. That looks really cool. Listen, I'm going to show you how I'm doing it back here so you can see my hand motions and everything. So here's the 32 right here, and I'll show you something. Let's see if I can pick up the speed. done now when i get down here i'm just gonna wrap it on there in the clockwise motion that was definitely the counterclockwise motion what the fuck did i do huh. i'm just gonna continue to wrap it All right, now we got one on there. Let's do our second. All right. 32. What's up, Clayton? What is up, everybody? Woo, it's getting hot in Philly. It's getting hot in her. It's getting hot. I need some wa 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 water. This isn't water, I know. That's a little bit of sugar. Two stretch about one and a half times what I have in 26. Stretch, I'm going to take it out of the drop. Now, this is important to anchor it down because this helix you can pull out of the whole thing if you're not careful. So, it's important to anchor this down the way I'm doing it. I've done it the lazy way and just stuck it in the drill, and I've pulled the entire helix off. Okay, now I'm just going to find the other gap and fall into the other gap, and it's just going to ride that gap all the way up. And I'll show you close up in a second again. It literally just rides that gap. There's really nothing to it. Once you find that gap, it'll ride it as long as you keep that angle. Keep some tension on it so that it, it stays... Yeah, at first glance, it's going to look like just four wires twisted together, like, perfectly, but it's actually, so right here, doesn't have the double helix yet, this has the double helix. I shouldn't, I, I keep saying, it's not a double helix, I'm sorry. A double helix would be if I actually went into them gaps with a smaller wire. That's a double helix. We'll get to that another day. It would be like if I took 38 and went into them gaps now 
and there would be four of them gaps now, not just two. So it takes a, quite a bit longer. All right. Now I do just want to keep good tension on this and get it tight because it looks like I was a little loose in the beginning. So I felt that I went a little loose. So what I did was I held right here and pulled the 32 to just tighten it up a bit. You could also back, if you make a mistake, you could back it up and fix it as well. Okay, like right here, here we go. Look what I did. I got a little, I got a little cocky and this is what happened. All right, it didn't go into the gap because I wasn't holding the right angle. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the wire. I'm gonna put my two fingers here and I'm pulling this wire with my other three fingers. My other three, three fingers are grabbing it. These two fingers are pushing the core away, putting my drill in reverse and taking it out just like that. All right now those are out drill back and forward get the proper angle what I do down at this end so I could keep the helix I can keep the helix tight and so it doesn't fall off I just keep wrapping at the end all right No, 2836 will look just as cool. Do that. If you twist eight wires, you will have to helix it eight times. Yes. Two wires twice, three wires three, four. Yep. Eight wires eight times. Yep. Yep. Eight gaps. Yep. Exactly. But yeah, 28, um, I would do 26, do 2636, 2636 will look awesome. Twist the 26 tight. Or you could do 2836. All right. So there you go. I'm going to cut this off. I guess we'll wrap the coils now. We'll wrap the coils now. And then we'll go on to the clapping. Okay. So I'm just going to get twisted wire likes to bounce back. So I'm going to wrap it on a 2.5. Just like ground wire. Yeah, Minnow, you're watching wire art. Doing some wire art, which basically is for 
vaping devices. Vaping inside of there, what's making that heat up is coils. Coils are made out of wire. You can make wire art with that wire. You stumbled on a fucked up channel. <laughs> if you just stumbled on this channel, you probably might want to go somewhere else. You stumbled on some freak ass shit. Four, five, six. I guess I'll do seven. Man, I could have wrapped that around. A... It's an interactive place. Seven. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Why am I doing seven? I know I'm putting this in a small RDA. Why am I doing this to myself right now? Whatever. Seven reps. And... <laughs> oh, okay. I'm in the right place. Good. <laughs> Good one. And there are some helix wires. Simple but effective. Maybe we could color these up because these are two different wires, so it's going to look pretty cool. Pretty cool, simple wires you can make. Very easy, and they're going to vape good, too. I actually believe what Twisted Mess has explained about this, though, is that Twisted Wire is going to vape better because this is kind of blocking some of the gaps of the 26, and the 26 is going to light up quicker. So... <laughs> you smoke flowers. Um, SS Minnow, you'd be surprised how old some people in here are. I think you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. <laughs> if you could smoke, if you could still smoke flowers, you ain't that old. <laughs> Justin, you're 40? I actually imagine you to be older. I don't know why. Because 40 is not much older than me, so I imagine you to be older. Redneck, you're 44? I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a bigger picture of you, Redneck, but you look good for 44. I mean, you're this big, but hey, shit. You take it, right? Lino is older than 42. There you go. And we're just shooting off ages. I'm 86. I'm the oldest. I'm 86. That's such a Ned thing to say. Really, Lino? You don't look 48 at all, dude. Wow. And Kim Dixon, you don't look 54. Look good for 86, right? Triple X vapes. 59, really? Damn. You could eat in class. Do not leave your trash around. Do not leave your trash around. We just had that bug problem last year, and we are not trying to have that again. After age, not your pant size. Your age and your pant size are the same. Lino? No. Nah. 
I imagine you got a small paint size. Wait a minute, my paint size and my age are like the same. That's awesome. I'm like a 36 waist and I, I got fucking, and I'm 35. Damn. One more year. Just got to keep the same weight. All right. So, Clapton time. We are going to use the same wires. 26, 32. Same thing. Um, if you're doing a Clapton for the first time with no swivel, I suggest trying 24 first. 24 is going to stay sturdier, but I'm going to do 26 because I'm fucking professional. 26 gauge. When you're doing a Clapton, just like the Helix, you don't want it too long. Now, like I say, Clapton's super important to coil building. Super important. Chevy man, Big Al, what's up? What is up? What is up, everybody? 50 people. Holy shit. Uh, Black Hat White Face, me. Masha. All right, 26 gauge in the drill. And we are going to straighten it out and leave it in the drill. And actually, this already looks like way more 20s than I want, but that's okay. The, yeah. I was on the top YouTube channel in the universe today. Yeah, this is way too long, so what I'm going to do is... You really don't want to have... If you're using no swivel, you want to be right around where what you need. So I want to be right around that 8-inch mark. So I'm going to do it a little bigger than 8. Twenty-six in the drill with the 8 inches sticking out. We're going to take 32. Now, what's funny about this is I used to get out 10 feet of 32 and use that for this. But I actually think a method that I learned later in building is actually going to help now. And it's something that everybody's going to have. So what I think you should do is use one of the best tools in the coil building game. A Ziploc bag doesn't matter what kind of bag. It doesn't even have to be a Ziploc bag. It could be just a cheap sandwich bag. And I think this will help you a ton. I'm going to take out about three feet. Stretch it straight. This is the 32. Put it inside the Ziploc bag so that when it pulls, the spool turns and feeds me wire. I'm going to put this on the floor here. If you don't have a desk and you're sitting on the floor, put it behind you. Then I'm going to take the 32. So the bag's just sitting on the floor. It's kind of in between my feet, so the bag is pointing up and down. All right. I'm going to take the 32 and wrap it around the 26, just like I did for the Helix. Just like that. Then I'm going to get it into the drill. Now, when you start it, it's probably not going to look pretty at first. You need to just start. You're basically just spinning the drill and getting this wire as close to each other as possible. Once you get it started, you need to bring your fingers up and start supporting. Support with your hand, pinch with your finger. The best way to do Clapton's is to pinch the 32. You're going to pinch the 32 and get the 26 in your fingers like that. All right. Pinch the 32 and the 26 
could support it in your fingers like that. The 26 falls right in the right in the gap of your fingers. That's where the 26 is going to be. The 32 is going to come up like that, and it's going to meet the 26 like that. All right. And this hand is going to support the rest of the wire. So you're always kind of doing this. It's always good to remember this. You always kind of want to be like this. Like think of elbow up. All right. You don't have to put your elbow up, but that's basically the motion you're going to you're going to start with. You could start to rest your elbow, but if you always put your elbow up, it'll help you remember. Now, the beginning is going to be hard because the chuck's there. And I'll show you in a second close up. And then I like to... if I could get this camera like this. Oh, this is going to be rough. Yeah, this is going to be rough, but I'm going to try it anyway. You kind of don't want to let go. Oh, you know what would help? Fucking blackboard. Fucking blackboard would help. So right now, this is my view. This is what my eyes are seeing. You're on the other side of the wire. I just fucked up. I gotta back it up. So basically, once you get started, you don't really want to stop. Of course, the goal was to get it as tight as possible. And not have them gaps in it, but this camera's kind of fucking me up here. Oops. I did that on purpose so I could show you how to fix mistakes. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah, you see?
So it kind of depends what kind of situation you're in on whether you move your this hand or you move the drill back. In the situation I'm in where I'm trying to show you on the camera, I'm moving the drill back. Plus, I'm holding it and I'm holding the drill with my dominant hand. So it's easier for me to move the drill back. Than it is to move my fingers. I might change the camera angle now. Change the camera angle so you can kind of see the other view. Let me bring the drill right here. Every time I let go, something with the 32 happens. And the bag's just feeding me the 32. All right. speed up this drill. There you go. So no swivel claptons are pretty fun. I actually, for a very long time, I'm cutting the 32 off. I did all my decors, no swivel. I would set my alien up, my three cores, because it was very, like when aliens were still hard for me. I would set my three cores up, get my clamps on there and everything. And then I would take my other drill and do the, the decor and decor it off and then just go right to the other drill and do that. I always had two drills set up. I had two uh, different drills. But that's a clap, and there's definitely some gaps in it. But what's good about this is there is movement in it. So you could kind of squeeze it together sometimes. If it's not going together, you could reverse it a little bit like we would do with a decor and push it all together. But usually from one of the sides... It will be loose, and you can kind of push it together. Before you do that, I would suggest doing this. I would bend the wire over. Right, and then I'm going to take the 26 and grab it with my needle nose. It's just the 26, and I'm going to push the 32 down. And this is what's going to happen with that. Let's find a gap. Let's find a bigger gap. All right, maybe just watch that gap. Can you see? You see that gap? Watch what happens when I push down. closes up. So I'm going to keep it pushed down. Keep it pushed down and then bend the 26 over so it can't pop back up. So now my whole clapton should be nice and closed now, right? And that's where it came from exactly. A guitar string. Eric Clapton. Get it? 
because he's like the god of guitars, I suppose. There you go. Clapton wire, eight inches of it. Now, just like how I was able to pull, push that down, these clap to move, and they like to jump off of it. They like to jump off of the core. So what I actually like to do is kind of fold it in half like this. I'm going to fold my Clapton in half. I pinched it together. And then I'm going to fold it down. Again, the other way. All right. So I folded it in half just like I do my ribbon. This lighting is good in some ways and bad in others. And then I folded it down like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the first fold. I'm going to cut that guy right there. Hold on. Basically, this is what I want to end with. I'll show you. This is what I want to end up with. I don't want the clap to pop off, so I bent it. That's what I want to end up with on both ends. I got that on both ends. Now, I'm going to get a three millimeter this time because uh, these aren't quite as springy, and I've been doing lots of two fives. You know what? Let's do the two five. Who gives a shit? Let's do it. I'm just going to wrap them as tight as I can. Three, four, five, six, Take this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can do however many wraps you want. It doesn't have to be six. This is what we got. Damn it all the hell. There's them clapped and some guitar wires. Simple, but very cool. When these came out, there was people actually trying to vape on guitar wire. I will tell you that. Yeah, there was people that were clapping a, a G string and then taking it off and putting it over a 26 gauge. How funny is that? People used to think you needed guitar wire to make this. Yeah, Rip Trippers did that. I was like, why don't you just... Wait, what? I didn't do... Even when I seen that video, I was like, wait a minute. Can I just put it around the fucking... Huh? <laughs> See, he's like, I don't have any extra G-strings. I only got the pair I'm wearing. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, people try to do tattoos with guitar strings. That's right. That is right. Oh, yeah. Acoustic guitars especially. It, it's all about surface area. 
if like your guitar string pops, you'll see it's two wires. It's a bigger wire inside and a small wire pops off. The smaller wires are usually just one wire, but the big wires are, whatchamacallit? But it's funny that that happened with the wire, and we'll get into that later. Like the whole, the whole guitar string and decoring it, that brought on a whole bunch of other builds. Like because somebody did that, that brought on so many other builds. The whole decoring thing. Like who would have thought to make that Clapton and then take it off and do something with that? You would have been like, well, what the fuck am I going to do with that? Just put another core in it. Nah, there's so much more you could do with it, right? Aliens, just anything, snake spine, whole bunch. There's other coils we'll get into, matrix wire, stuff like that. Probably suffering from cramps. Use hexagon shaped cores. Wow. Interesting. All right. Let's um let's find some RDAs to install. And I want to at least color up the heel, it seems. I want to make sh very sure that I save my um my big RDAs for later. One thing I'm definitely making sure I do is save them big RDAs. All right, we're going to put the Claptons in the Royal Hunter Mini, which is pretty effed up. And then we need a better RDA for the Helixes. Whoa. What can we put the Helixes in? I see. What's in this? Is there something in the Nubunaga? Is the Nubunaga going to work for them? Such a fun name to say. The Nubunaga. There is nothing in the Nubunaga. Mini. Let me see something. Oh, fucking perfect, dude. Fucking perfect. All right. Let's install these and do it. The Royal Hunter was your first RDA. That's what's up. That's cool. Of course. This should be one of my favorite parts of the video, and it ends up being one of my least favorite. That's not the proper handling key. All right, let's open up these holes. So this is just a little four post. Both of these are minis. We're using two minis. I didn't even realize that. Royal Hunter Mini and the new Bunaga Mini. I was just going to pull out the... I couldn't find the deck to the Mutation X. And to be honest, I don't think I have an original, which is crazy to think. But I have the cat... I, I think I did some. I think I gave away the deck. I have a Mutation X 4 one day we'll use. But um, Mutation X is um actually could fit pretty big coils in there so we're going to save that for something a little bigger so now i could cut the bends off that i made and we could put the coil 
coils in here. Uh -oh. I didn't put this guy up all the way. Put him in here like this. I have a regular dark horse here, but we could actually use that for something else too. The dark horse has big post holes. Oops, righty tighty neck, righty tighty. Straighten out our Clapton. Cut that guy. Just make sure your Clapton's tight. Man, this sucks. The damn mat, I think. Never fails. Okay, now this one. I'm actually going to try to guesstimate my cut for the middle post. So I'm just going to put it in there. Like, I'm just going to put it on top and just kind of measure it up like this and cut the middle lead while it's out and then install it. And then tighten down the middle. All right. And then kind of get my bit in there. Pull this one a bit. Bend it up just like I did the other one. Try to get it in the same position as the other one, just on the other side of the deck. Man, this camera is not working right now. Like it usually never does. I might have to really just get the other. I do have another webcam. It's an older one. But I might have to like try to get it set up permanently. Like kind of how Scott has his Clapton's full. Clapton's.
probably because of the stand I'm using. I'm an idiot. I should have used a Kim Dixon stand, not a tender foot. All right, whatever. So these are seven wrap, and I'm actually going to put the bend in them. I'm just going to take this lead and put a little bend in it so it's on the same plane as the other one. Seven wrap, twist it. Uh, I'm going to undo these. This is the Nobunaga Mini. And people in UK will enjoy this little tidbit. I know this is a flower, a UK flower. Where is it? I forget what it's called. Like some kind of blossom. Is it a cherry blossom? What is that? Somebody in the UK, let me know. Nice flat top, not concave at all. <laughs> this has good flavor though. This is a really fucking actually nice RDA. A Tudor Rose. Puny, puny, Primula, maybe, I forget, I ad actually imagine that somebody would say it, and I'd be like, yep, that's what it is, all right, look at this seven wrap helix in there, I'm actually just going to cut this middle lead first, and take it out. And then I'm going to get the other coil on there. I'm going to bend the weave just like I did with the first one. I'm going to get him in there. I'm going to cut the middle lead, but leave them in, get the bit out. Get the other coil, put him in there. Middle leads are in and already cut, which is a good thing. 
to hold the coils in place. Tighten down the middle first. The middles are good and tight. Now I'm just going to give these a little straight and real quick. Make sure that they're kind of the same distance away from the posts. And tighten down the negative posts, the outside posts. Cool, all tight. Let me make sure it is the way I want it. I'm going to center it a bit by just pushing it over after the bits inside, bits inside. Push it over, that centers it. Cut the negatives now. And we got our Twisted Helix build. What did you Google? The flower on the Nobunaga? Look at that. That lined up really good, too. Some nice symmetry, how all the helixes are lining up. Love how my camera is nowhere near good. Acting like it is. Playing that shit off. And there it is. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so it was 26 gauge cancel and 26 gauge cancel and um, 32 gauge nichrome. So it should color up pretty weird, right? Let's get that new Bunaga cap on there. Twist it off the Kim Dixon stand. This is what the Nobunaga would look like on here. It's hard to push down. Still, my O-rings are just so old that it's hard to push shit down, but that's basically what it looks like. It gets pushed down a little more, but it's a cool idea. It is. I don't know if anybody still sells the Nubunaga. It's pretty old. Pretty old. It's very good quality for how old it is. Very good quality. And it was only like 45 bucks in a day and age. That shit was expensive. All right. So I'm just going to color it real quick. Um, and when I mean real quick, I mean real quick. Because actually fresh is on. Man, you could see every blemish in my face tonight. That is awesome. Lots of sweating going on. Just doing like 16 watts. I'm just trying to get them 32s to color up real quick. That's all I'm doing. I'm pretty sure they are coloring up. Where's my... I wanted my ceramics, but... There's the golds on the one. Actually, let me show you close up, just in case I color through the rest. I'm going to show you.
There's some gold star in. See him? Just on the just on the N80. And the 32. Some reason the one coils heating up quicker than the other. Mm -hmm. There is tighten them down. Yeah, the one was really loose. Okay, I'll just give them a wiggle. Get some hot spots out. And let me turn up the wattage just a little. Let me put it up to 21. These are reading at 0.16. Okay. Let's see what kind of colors we're getting now. The one's just starting the gold. The one's got a darker gold. What's up here? A little darker. 0.16. See that O-ring? Man, that one coil just does not want to light. Now we're getting some blues. Hmm. Blame it on the dogs. That's right, Kim. Blame it on the dogs. All right. Yeah, 0.16. Man, this one coil just does not want to light. What's up with you? Got a ceramic rod in the one that's lighting, so I can get the other one to light, but I'm not going to worry too much about it, because, what is this? I know what that is. What is this? I know what that is. Yes, I have a Mutation X version 4 here. And there's a troll, which was basically a mutation X. Whoa! 
That's nasty. And then this was like the biggest piece of shit I ever bought. The Stro. Such a piece of shit. I'll have to wash them out. Yeah, that RDA, the Stro, broke first fucking build. Fucking negative post popped off. First fucking build it ever received. Negative post. Pop. There goes that other coil. Thank you. About fucking time you joined us. It's about fucking time you joined us, other coil. There he is. So I want to save these colors for the picture. Got some light blues. Cool, cool, cool. All right, man. That's the Helix. And and where's the Claptons? Are you kidding me? There they are. And that's the Claptons. So we did our Claptons. We did our Helix. All right. As promised, uh, giveaway. And then I'm getting out of here. So, um, guys. We are done coil class lesson four. Um, I do have some more videos to put up on coil class from the past couple. I did want to do my whole desk video and then I wanted to do the cage and stuff. So all the videos I said I still want to do. Um, onions kill dogs? Dude. Chocolate, you know, chocolate will kill dogs. Not all dogs are allergic to chocolate, dude. When I was getting high on Easter, I brought home my daughter's candy because um, we were homeless. So I brought it to my mom's house and just put it on an ottoman in the house. And the next morning I woke up and the fucking dog ate all the chocolate. No, none of the other candy. All the chocolate and my mom loved this dog and I was like oh my god this dog's gonna fucking die on me it just ate all the chocolate like so much chocolate it didn't die it didn't phase it. it didn't fucking phase the dog at all at all I would keep going down like Maxine <laughs> Didn't do shit to it. I would have took that to my grave. I'm like, I don't know how it died. Yeah, this is the dreamer. I would have felt bad as shit. Didn't get sick at all. Dude, a couple weeks later, I was even thinking, because some people said it could take weeks. Nothing. Nothing. There was like a month later it got sick and I was like, eh, I don't know about that. And it was good after that. It lived for five years more. Wait, no. Seven years more. It just died just a little bit ago. Yeah, so, so I was looking it up at the time and I, and some dogs could do it. Most can't. But some dogs could do the chocolate. They said it would start worms. Um, yeah, the stainless doesn't hit as hard as other stuff. Like this, between this and the... Um, I don't want to keep these too long because fresh is on. And I don't like taking his time. 
But like these are both times, mate. All right, the brass, this brass saint hits way harder than this. It's so noticeable. Like I don't think I have another battery. I think this battery might be a little dead. No, they're probably around the same. All right, here it's a little fizzle, a little sizzle, just a little sizzle. Now wait. There was also peanut butter in there. It might have coated it. her stomach and stuff. I don't know, but oh my god, I felt so bad. So bad. I was like, oh, please don't let this fucking dog die on me. This would be the worst situation. They already didn't want me in their house. After work? Yeah, we could do that after work, Bobby. I usually get home at like five. Boom. That's way better. Drip it right down my finger. That's how I do it. Right down the finger. Boom. Finger drip. Finger drip. It's a consequence. Around six sounds good. Okay. Let's do this giveaway real quick. Guys, a copper noisy cricket. No. Broadside's awesome, too. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let me pull up which we'll call it. Um, oh, I can't do a screen share, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. I'm going to pull it up on here. Wait, no. Let me pull it up on the good one. All right. Um, the prize is three sets of random coils, a door $25 card, start guessing numbers from one to one to 50. Guess one number and one number only. We're just going to do the closest to that number. Not the closest without going over. The closest to that number. Okay? Closest to that number. If two people guess it, we'll do something after that. All right? That is the giveaway. Start guessing one to one. One to one to 50. One guess per person. Whoever wants to win. You will have to pay shipping. I got the code now. Um, random. This will work. All right. I'm going to give you about 10 more seconds. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six. If you went over 50, it's one to 50. One to 50. One to 50. Um, uh, Glenn was at work. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There you go. All right. 
Here we go. 150. I'm going to hit it three times and whoever wins. Ready? One, two, the next number wins. Four. Wow, weird number. Oh, shit. Oh, so we had a couple of people guess low. Hold on. Hold on now. Wait up now, everybody. Wait up now. That's, okay, so I do have, I think I have two close ones. This is why you do closest without going over. I have a two. Did Chris Payne pull it off? I have a two. I thought I've seen something else close. I know seven's close, but it's not close enough. Am I correct in saying that two would win this? I have live chat on. Chris Payne. You never won before, Chris Payne, have you? Chris Payne. Congratulations. I'm getting that out very, very soon, too. Everybody's that has to go. I'm starting. Yeah. Just. I got to get Lino. I got to get Lewis Miller. I got to get Chris Payne. I got to get uh, Celine uh, C's is going out. Chris Payne, congratulations, man. A while back you won. Yeah, it had to be long ago because I don't even remember. Did you ever get it? <laughs> Did I ever send it? So, um, everybody, listen, I do appreciate you. Um, I know some of you know that there's something going on right now. And the fact that nobody mentioned that, I so appreciate that. It's such a hard subject for me to talk about. And I just want to stay away. Um, it's one of the reasons why I might not even want it to come live today. But I said, fuck it. But the fact that nobody said anything, I so appreciate that. It's just so fucking hard for me. Um, in saying that, I hope everybody has a good week. And I'm leaving on that. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for coming out and hanging out, watching, having fun, chatting. It was a good show. I'm sorry it was shorter. I'm sorry I was late. But, man, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so, everybody have a good, good, good week. And, um, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one, which you'll see a pre-recorded before you see me live. Um, but maybe, you never know. I always say I'm not coming live and I pop up anyway. But um, I really want to focus on uh, getting getting giveaways taken care of and stuff. I don't have that many. I mean, I have been knocking them down, but there's a couple floating around out there that I just I took too much advantage of. Um. So, everybody, have a good one. Um, I know I will. I always try to stay positive, and tomorrow's a new day. So, um, I can't complain at all. Yeah, hit me up on IG if you want to talk about, ask questions about coil building, whatever. Vaping, um, if you want to buy coils, whatever. Um any drama, I'm not the place for it. All right. Everybody have a nice night. I do appreciate you all. And I have fun with these videos. Um, let's me escape for a while. I don't think about anything other than this coil building thing. And you guys. So everybody have a good week. Really. Really. You have anything negative in your life, cut it out. No matter how hard it is. Cut it out. Peace. I will see you.